Thank you, Luke. Wow, a 13-year-old son doing that. There we go. Hey, Jack, how are you? How are you? Fantastic. Well, I appreciate this opportunity. And this is my business partner, Sean Patton, that I've asked to join uh, today. So specifically, the mentor machine is something that I had developed to help people come through an emotional thinking process into critical thinking. And that's a project that I've done with my son. Specifically, why I'm in JWMI is to bring a vision of concierge level executive protection to life. I have a background uh, professionally as an executive protection operator, and I wanted to take the service side of what I've seen missing and implement that with concierge level. Uh, and I brought Sean along and some other very high level uh, guys previously in the government alongside. So the question becomes, we're very innovative in our approach with your history and what you've done with innovation, how did you protect those innovations uh, from being not necessarily copycatted, but uh, what was your approach to that? Uh, paranoia is always good. Uh, be absolutely racing to beat the next guy. Be in front of him every minute. Uh, always thinking two steps ahead. Uh, when, when you've got a successful product, think of the next one and don't harvest that successful one too long. An idea gets stale, no matter how successful it is. So keep rolling, 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 and be scared to go to bed every night, scared to death that yours is getting stale while, while, while you're excited about it. And think of the next one, the next one. You know, when, when you think about technology, for example, uh, Think about high-tech businesses. I was in medical. We brought out a CAT scanner. We got the 50% share, 60% share. So we kept trying to say you can't have more than 20% share. We had to define the market wider to get more opportunity. If you've got 50, just change the denominator by adding more markets. You open up your eyes to bigger things. So think of the uh, successes and failures of companies you've known. Blackberry, by the wayside. Motorola, by the wayside. Northern Telecom, by the way, wayside. Those are companies that hung on too long to what they had. I actually was wrong on one. It's cost me some real money. I, um, I believe Samsung was going to whack Apple. I thought Apple was, when Steve Jobs left and, and, and Apple was sitting there, I thought, man, this is a sitting duck. And as a result, I haven't invested in Apple, and I could kick myself in the butt because they have done one hell of a job, and they've kept the competition at bay. So that, Apple's a model right now of not resting on what they got. Keep moving. If you've got some new products where you are, what you're doing in this concierge service, keep adding. Don't, don't be excited about what you got. Always be, I want more. I want a newer, faster. And, and always be talking to your people about the outside world every day. What are you afraid of? What keeps you up at night? What can happen to you? Be paranoid. That is a wonderful way to operate because somebody's always in the back room looking at you. And you've got to assume the only thing that can kill successful com companies is a successful company attitude. The only thing that kills it, complacency, lack of speed, tough chest. We're, we're great. We're wonderful. All these things that just aren't real. So my answer to you, you is keep rolling out the new stuff. Never stay still. Be scared to death every day. I appreciate that. We're actually kind of coined the process of proactive risk mitigation. And this week in the leadership course, the subject was on risk, so my approach was a bit unique 
and the professor appreciated that. Sean had an opportunity to go into GE Appliance and Lighting and help the CEO there uh, previously on another project. And one of the biggest things that I embraced was building a team and taking that uh, approach. And so I can't express how much I appreciate what I've learned, and I'm going the full 24 months on the MBA. So thank you so much, sir. Good, good. Congratulations on, on, on all you're doing. And, Sean, based on my hiring skills or lack of skills, uh, I'd say it looks like a winner to me. <laughs> <laughs> that was a quick assessment, Sean. Good for you. <laughs> Good luck. So, Luke, great to see you. Thanks so you much. You too as well. Thank you. So, Jack, I just wanted to highlight something that you just said before uh, Eileen uh, tees up the next question, and it's about paranoia. And I love the idea of be paranoid. And um, last week I – I put a message inside the classroom for students that nothing is never assumed that any, everything's in the bag. And if the Super Bowl is any indication of that, uh, you could assume down to the last minute that something's yours, but unless you remain paranoid about it and completely obsessed with making sure that you win until the very last minute, it's just never in the bag. So I, I just wanted to reemphasize the idea of being remaining a little bit paranoid is a good thing. So And great to see you guys. Where are you sitting right now? Are you in Chicago? Oh, I lost your um, audio, Luke. Uh, they're at the Hermit, uh, Hermitage Hotel, I believe, in Nashville, Tennessee. It's gorgeous. We are. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks. Thanks, you guys. Good to see you. Eileen, over to you.